PBC Group, the world's third largest communications company, has just released its annual results for 2017. I'm joined by CEO Arthur Sadoun. Hello, thank you for being with us. Bonjour, Nadia. What were the highlights of the year? Well, I guess the least that we can say is that 2017 has been a challenging year for our industry. I won't come back to everything that has happened because it will take two hours of our time, which you don't have, I do, but you don't. Uh, I will just tell you that uh, at Publicis, um, we are focused on two things, delivering and transforming. And actually, delivering while transforming, making sure that we have robust number and on the same time, accelerate our transformation to actually be in line with the needs of our clients. Well, let's start with that word delivery. Looking at your financial results, how did you deliver? When you look at our financial results, the first thing you need to look very closely is organic growth. And how can we bring sequential improvement in our organic growth? We started the year in Q1 with a minus 1.2%. We then moved in Q2 with a progress, plus 0.8%. Q3 was at plus 1.2%. And we're actually delivering in Q4 plus 2.2%. We said very clearly in Q3 that you will see an improvement and a sequential improvement from H1 to H2. This is what we are delivering with an annual growth of 0.8%, which is actually better than last year. And in terms of geographies, is there something you'd like to share? I've got to mention the US. We had a very good Q4. We moved to plus 4.5% in Q4, coming from a 3.5% in Q3. This is extremely important for us, not only because the US is 50% of our business, but because it is a place where our transformation has been starting now for the last two years, and you can already see some very positive benefit and a very good sign that we have the right dynamic. And what about the margins? I mean, we said very clearly that we have to accelerate on organic growth, but at the same time, en même temps, as some will say in France, we need to bring our cost base down and gain in terms of competitiveness. We are delivering in 2017 40 basis points of improvement on our margin at comparable restructuring costs, which means that we are 15.5% profit, which is for us a good number because it was important for us to demonstrate our ability to increase our margin while we're having a very reasonable growth. The good news about that is that today, Publicis is more solid than it was a year ago. And a demonstration of that is that we have decided to increase our dividends to two euros, which is an increase of plus 8.1% compared to last year. Well, you mentioned your transformation as the other highlight of the year. Tell us more about that. Transformation is a terrible word. It's the problem with transformation is that everybody speaks about it. The question is, how do you act upon it? If you look at our clients, they are facing several disruptions. And we have a very simple vision at Publicis. We think that we can be the market leader in marketing and business transformation. We can be the one that help our client not only transform their marketing by reinventing the consumer journey, but also help them to understand what in the business model needs to be transformed through technology to be more efficient. This is what we are bringing today to our client on a day-to-day -day basis, and this is starting to make a huge difference in the value we bring to them, and by the way, the way we get organized. And can you elaborate a bit on the results of this transformation? I mean, I'm not gonna tell you that everything is perfect and that we are already at the end of our journey, we are actually at the beginning. But we are seeing very encouraging results. And at a time, again, where our industry is being challenged, we see great sign of attractiveness, which is extremely important for us. We need to be attractive with talent, but also with clients. On the talent front, our first priority is to retain and train our best talent. But at a time of transformation, bringing new talent on board is absolutely critical. And if you look at the list of people that have joined Publicis, and I won't go in detail now, during this year, to actually follow the model and the project you have. It's a great sign of how we can be attractive in a market that is highly competitive on talent. I will take maybe one example. Nick Lowe, 
who is uh, the chief creative officer of RGA globally, is joining publicists to do the same at group level. He's considered as maybe the most iconic creative when it comes to the alchemy between creativity and technology. Attracting this kind of talent means that at Publicis, we are on the right track to reinvent our industry. The second factor is new business. I'm not going to give you the list of everything we have won. You know, it, it would take time. We have lost some, by the way, but we have won more than we lost. And I think that what is important to note there is that we have been winning on the marketing side. I will take a few examples. Southwest Airlines, for example, or Lion Gates is in the, in the US. We won the PNG pitch in the UK, which was the pitch of the year. We have done great things with L'Oreal also, and on the creative fronts with Diesel. But we have been winning on the marketing side. But we have also been winning on digital business transformation. You maybe heard about McDonald's that we won with Capgemini. There are other wins that were important for us, but one is more significant than the other. In the recent two weeks, maybe because it's French, but also maybe because the challenge there is incredibly strong, is Carrefour. We have been lucky enough to be chosen by Carrefour to help them out in their digital business transformation, in reinventing the omni-channel model. And what is interesting there is the reason why we have been chosen is obviously because we are very strong in consulting and technology, but also because we understand the brand, because we understand the consumer, and we can make sure that we do this transformation in a connected way. So what are your thoughts for the future of Publicis Group? There is a short-term future and a mid-term future. The short term is definitely the investor day on the 20th of March, where we will review our targets for growth and profit. While the 2013 objective will have to be revisited, as all the market knows, it is important for me to share already two good news. The first is when it comes to growth, because we have invested in data, technology, and talent, we are committed to deliver in 2018 a better growth than 2017. It's an achievement in the context. And by the way, when you look at what the competition is saying, it is something that we believe will be a strong sign of the fact that we are progressing with our model. The second good news is on profits. As I told you, we are very serious and committed about the reduction of our costs. Not only because we need to reinvest, will it be in IT, in data, or in talent, but also because we want to make sure that we put in place a multi-year program to reduce our cost and increase our margin. And those progress will be felt already in 2018. And what about the midterm then? I have to admit that I'm pretty confident on the midterm uh, for three reasons. I think that we have three very strong competitive advantages. The first is technology. Thanks to Publicis.Sapient, we can bring digital business transformation to all of our clients. That really change the kind of relationship and value we are bringing through the addition that I just mentioned between marketing transformation and digital business transformation. The second is the power of one. Our ability to break the silos as we did is really paying off. Look at what is happening in the US. And is giving us a huge advantage to arrive with an end-to-end -end solution for each of our clients. And the third is our people. As you know, we have been through a transition phase with Maurice Levy becoming the chairman of the supervisory board and me as the CEO of the directoire. We have put in place government bodies that are working very well together. And I think that we have a team for the future. And by the way, I will use this opportunity to thank them because as I said, they've been doing a terrific job and we are extremely confident for the future, even though it won't be easy. But that's the name of the game. Arthur Sazen, thank you very much for having spoken to us. Nadia, thank you very much. Sorry for the weather, but it's still Paris. Exactly. <laughs> thank you.